Okay, so there are three main areas that we need to focus on in terms of responding. The first is people. Most importantly, universities are made up of people and it's really important, therefore, that we get an immigration regime and a visa regime, which means that our students can come and go, our faculty can come and go, we have technic technicians can come and go, and professional services staff. And that's incredibly important for each one of those groups. But what's also important, not just that they can come and go, but their families can as well. So one of the things we're quite concerned about at the moment is the role of dependents within the immigration regime and making sure that people can come over, they can come with their families. So we have a lot of faculty who are from the EU or from overseas, in fact, about two thirds of our faculty and they live in the UK. But we also have a number of faculty who live in EU countries and come into the LSE. They commute in to work. So what are called frontier workers under the scheme. So we're really concerned to make sure that that's all in place and that we've got that mobility there. Um, second is teaching. Uh, so we're one of the main issues now is around EU students and both the attractiveness coming into the UK, just what does it feel like, you know, do they feel welcome? Um, and the second is fees. And at the moment we don't know what fees we're going to be able to charge uh, EU students. And if we have to move them up to the international fee level, then that's going to make us very uncompetitive in relation to other European countries because they're offering education often for free and increasingly in English. So that's a real issue for us because we don't want to change the makeup of our student composition. We really like the, the mix that we have at the moment. We really want to keep that. And then the third is research and research funding. So um, the UK does disproportionately well out of Horizon 2020 research funding. Um, and we've always been a really key player within that, both in shaping the nature of the calls, in insisting on funding on the basis of excellence, and we've been one of the lead collabor leaders of collaborations across the EU on those research calls. So just being part of that research ecosystem, it's partly about the money, but it's actually much more about being part of that ecosystem and those collaborations, and so there are real threats to us there as well.